Welcome to a Toucan Sam production. Hey guys, this is Dark Answer 12, and yes, I am back. And this is going to start to be a normal thing. I'm going to start doing Halo figure reviews. The reason why? Halo is becoming really popular, and Halo Reach is just around the corner. It's about to come out, which is really exciting. I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you guys are, but I cannot wait to play that game. So, um, the Halo Reach figures are just about to come out. Um, some of them are already out at uh, Walmart, so I'll be doing reviews on those figures very soon. But today, I have a kind of customized Aesthetic Elite. Um, he used to... These silver parts, um, well, he looks all silver, but his shoulder pads and his helmet and a little bit of armor detail on his right um, knee cap thing, his knee armor, it had this kind of dark red, um, red color to it. But what I did was I used silver sharpie like I did with my bionicles, and I covered that up, so now he's just a, a silver gray elite. Now this figure, when I got him, I um, he looked he looked pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to admit he he looked pretty badass. Uh, the, the only problem that I had with him when I got him was that his uh, with this armor, he, um, the helmet has these two little spikes or kind of like these stabby things. I don't know what you guys want to call them, but he has those on his helmet. Now when I got mine, uh, the right um, the right knife type thing on his helmet was curled up. So what I had to do was get a hot, a hair dryer and um, kind of melt it down so then I could bend it and um, like change the shape. So it is a little better, but that was one downside to the figure. Um, the articulation on this figure is great. Uh, the joints work fine. His arm can go all the way around. Um, that can turn. I'm not sure what these body parts are called. His arm can move up and down, only only a little bit though, like it can only move up about that much, and it can go down that far. He has wrist articulation and finger articulation, and that goes for the same arm. His head can go up and down, it can twist all the way around. Um, his waist has a little bit of swivel, so he can, like adjust his waist up and down and it can spin 360 degrees but I well yeah I can but I'm not going to do it because I might break the joint um, for his leg articulation let me just move his arm out of the way can go out that far can go in that far can go all the way around and hopefully you can get it back to where he can stand again because when you do that it kind of messes up the joint somehow. So I don't recommend spinning it all the way around, but um, you can. His leg can bend that far back and bend that far forward, and his foot has a little bit of articulation. Uh, the removable armor pieces on this gun, on this gun, <laughs> on this figure, um, you can remove his helmet, but it takes a bit of work. You can remove his shoulder pads and his chest. And that's pretty much it on removable parts. Um, here is a shoulder pad. Uh, this is the color that it used to be. It had the kind of that purpley red to it, kind of like a burgundy color, but um, really nicely detailed. I really like the different color um, on it, like the the gray on the dark gray, and uh, that's also the same for the other shoulder pad. For the chest piece, um, the detail on it's very good. Um, the paint is a little bit off, like as you can see right here, how the line isn't perfectly straight. Um, so the painting could have done better on this figure, but overall, they did a good job. Um, so you can interchange the Elite's armor, which is cool, with other Elites. And uh, they just pop right back on, no problem. And uh, like most uh, Halo figures in the past or elite figures, their armor, their shoulder pads would just pop right off. Oh, I put this one on wrong. <laughs> their shoulder pads would just pop right off, um, which was a problem. But this figure doesn't really have that problem, which is nice. 
So that's that's a plus. They've gotten better with their quality control. Uh, so the weapon set he comes with, he comes with two brute spikers. Um, very well painted. It's got this metallic blue with a little bit of light blue detailing, and then it has uh, the the spikes that are painted a nice silver with a little bit of black wash. So it looks like that they're kind of dirtied up, and they're not like fresh off the assembly line. To get them into his hands, it kind of takes some work, um, but what you want to do is you want to take the handle, put it in kind of backwards, and then twist his twist it around, and then he can fold his hand closed. Um, and then he can also do that with his other hand, but I'm not going to waste time doing that. <laughs> uh, when he's aiming, he kind of has to aim low in order for it to like be aimed straight because of his wrists. See how his wrist, uh, well, actually not because of his wrist. See how the gun, how the handle is arced down like that? If it were just straight, like a normal gun, he would be aiming it, like, um, like up here to his eyesight. But since he can't really do that because of the way the gun is made, or the way it's shaped, he kind of has to angle it down a little bit, which isn't too bad, but oh well. So I'm going to do a size comparison. Right now, um, you know, let me get him to stand straight so you get the best scale out of him. So here he is compared to a Capri Sun uh, juice box. Uh, he's just a little bit shorter than the than the juice box, but um, you guys get the idea. He can hold other people's other figures uh, weapons like the shotgun that Sergeant Forge comes with, which is cool. Um, but it, it's kind of small for him to hold, so it likes to fall out. Um, the detail, again, on this figure is just great. Like, the, the painting, the quality control, it, it's very good. Um, although, one thing that I would like to have seen in this figure was consistency. Um, on the skin, as you can tell, it's, it's black and gray. But on this arm, they kind of left out a little bit of black, so it's kind of just a, a big gray spot. Which isn't too bad, but... It's it's still something I wish that they would have had, but um, still it, it's it's an awesome figure. So thanks guys for watching. I'll have more videos and reviews in the near future. So yes, I c you could say I am back, but it's not about Bionicles. I know that Bionicle Hero, the Hero Factory, that's like basically the new Bionicles. It seems like, and those look pretty cool. But um, yeah, for now, thanks for watching. I'll have more videos coming along the way soon.